the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 187 to Kings 20 and Isaiah 38 to 39. Hezekiah restored from his disease. Although Hezekiah enjoyed the grace of his life being extended through an earnest prayer, he posted himself to the messengers of Babylon who came to him. First point, Hezekiah prayed once for the salvation of the country and second, for his illness to be cured. After beating Assyria, Hezekiah prayed to God to cure his illness. He prayed to God to remember the righteous things he did during his lifetime. This was the evaluation of Hezekiah. Hezekiah trusted in the Lord, the God of Israel. There was no one like him among all the kings of Judah, either before him or after him. He held fast to the Lord and did not stop following him. He kept the commandments the Lord had given Moses. Josephus writes that the reason Hezekiah prayed so desperately to be cured was not so much for his own life, but because he did not have an heir. God heard Hezekiah's prayer. Hezekiah became cured, and he was given an additional 15 years to live. Three years later, he was given a son whom he named Manasseh. Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 55 years. His mother's name was Hepzibah. Second point, Ahaz did not seek for an omen, but Hezekiah searched for an omen. The reason Ahaz did not listen to Isaiah right until the end was not because he was trusting in God, but because he was too arrogant and foolish to listen to God's words. Hezekiah was different to his father in that he had the heart to turn to God. Therefore, God gave Hezekiah a miracle as a symbol. This was similar to God's miracle during Joshua's time when the sun stopped during war. As Hezekiah obeyed, God listened to his prayer and extended his life for 15 years. Hezekiah therefore praised God. Third point, Hezekiah was humble in front of God when he received the letter from the Assyrian king, but he became arrogant after receiving a letter and gifts from the Babylonian king. When the Assyrian king sent his final notification to Hezekiah, he was a humble before God. But when he received the letter and gifts from the king of Babylon, he became arrogant. The Babylon king sent envoys to South Judah to deliver the letter and gifts. At this, Hezekiah was very pleased. At the time, Babylon was becoming a powerful country. Babylon became so powerful that they traded with Egypt and stood the chance of winning against Assyria. Although Babylon was officially under the protection of Assyria during the days of Hezekiah, they were building their own forces to defeat Assyria and rule above them. Thus, Babylon was not a country that tried to collaborate with the South Judah. But Hezekiah did not know the motivations of the Babylonian king and exposed all of South Judah's warehouses. This provided the main source for Babylon when they later invaded South Judah. Fourth point, King David praised God after receiving gifts from Hiram, the king of Tyre. And King Hezekiah boasted of himself when he received the gifts from Babylon. When David received the gifts from King Hiram of Tyre, he praised God. But different to David, Hezekiah became arrogant after receiving gifts from Babylon. 
Hezekiah was cured from his illness, as God had permitted this. And he was also able to grow prosperous thanks to God. But Hezekiah wanted to boast that it was his greatness that defeated Assyria to Babylon. The Bible recorded Hezekiah to have been arrogant. God had sent the Babylonian envoys to Hezekiah in order to test his heart. Unfortunately, Hezekiah failed this test. Fifth point, through his conversation with Isaiah, Hezekiah realized his sins. In the past, those Israel's Ahab failed to recognize his sins even after being told what they were by Elijah. However, differently to Ahab, Hezekiah recognized and admitted his sins when he was told by Isaiah. God told Hezekiah how he was to be responsible for his sins through Isaiah. What Hezekiah showed to the envoys of Babylon would all be taken to Babylon, and some of his descendants would serve as servants in Babylon. When Hezekiah heard this, he accepted it. He was relieved that this would not happen during his lifetime. This was irresponsible of him. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.